So welcome to a special edition of Mr. Jack's Journey. Throughout the ages, many stories have been told, but none has captivated the hearts and souls of men and women like the one I'm gonna tell you today. Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Messiah, God himself came to earth and he dwelt with, with us. Those who recognized him thought that he would conquer all of the evil in the world and destroy the political systems and set up this heaven on earth, this utopia. Well, he did destroy evil, but it was the evil that's in our hearts. Now, the story's been told many ways. For those of us who love this story, it cannot be told often enough. And it usually centers around the suffering of Jesus Christ, the price that he paid. I'll include that in today's story, but I'm also going to include what it was like to have met him, to sit at his feet. This is a story about people like you and me who came in contact with him. Gethsemane. Few places on earth evoke such thoughts of torment and anguish as this garden that's located on the outskirts of um, Jerusalem. Well, it was here that Jesus struggled with his own will and wrestled to bring his body into subjection to all that his father had planned for him. It was probably a cold night, the moon half hidden by a cloudy sky shone its cold light on a lonely figure. Father, Father, hear me. <gasps> Father, let this cup pass from me, Father. I was born for to rescue souls from sin and now I find I hesitate to do what must be done and I struggle deep within when I was young just a boy reading from the prophets the story of my life and as I read I came to know how the Son of Man must suffer and just how I would die Father, take this cup from my hand, I pray. For possible, let it pass from me this day. Oh, how could I see? How could I know just how it would feel? To let you go To let you go 
Father, Abba. Now, my friends, those chosen few have fallen into slumber. And now I pray alone. Protect them, Lord. See them through. Watch over them and keep them. Now that I must go, but Father, take this cup from my hand, I pray. If we're possible, let it pass from me this day. Nevertheless, I am your son. I'll pay the price. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. of the soldier and tradition son they come for me they come for blood they know not what they do or what they will have done father Give me the strength to see this through. Oh, Father, glorify me as I glorify you. I'm ready to go, for I am the one who must pay the price. Thy will be done. Not my will, but thine be done. Judas had arranged a signal for the guards. So when they got to the garden, Judas saw Jesus and quickly walked over to him. Jesus said, Judas. And then Judas planted a kiss on his cheek. And Jesus said, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? Well, that was the signal. The guards took him. They took him to the house of Caiaphas, the high priest, where the other priests, the uh, teachers of the law, had all assembled. By the living God, tell us if you are the Christ, Son of the Blessed One. You are right in saying that I am, but I say unto you, in the future you'll see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the Mighty One on high and coming in the clouds of glory. He has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? Well, in the morning, just at the break of dawn, Caiaphas the high priest and the other priests and teachers of the law and the entire Sanhedrin decided, well, we're going to have to kill Jesus. Having no law to do so, they said, well, let's take him to Pilate. Let the Romans do it. Pilate's the uh, Roman governor. So they bound him. They bound Jesus. They took him over to Pilate and they argued their case with Pilate. And then having heard their arguments, Pilate finally said, okay, okay, 
I'll give him an interview. They say you claim to be king of the Jews. Are you? My kingdom is not of this world. But for now, my kingdom is in another place. So you are a king then? For this I was born. And for this cause I came into the world to witness and testify to the truth. Truth? What is truth? Tell me, what charges are you bringing against this man? If he were not a criminal, we would not have brought him to you. Then take him. Judge him by your own law. We do not have the right to put a man to death. Death? I find no basis for your charges against him. What say ye? Crucified! Yeah, this man has done nothing to deserve death. Take him away. There's no basis for these charges. Is this what you want? Especially in this place, this barren land, this barren land, this backward people, I don't think I'll ever understand. The day they brought to me a man, they called a criminal. Though I searched, I found no fault in him. One week ago, they were shouting Hosanna. Now they stand accusing me of sin. What is truth? Can you know it? Can you hold it in your hand? What is truth? I've been searching from my view To know exactly what is true Of Christ or Barabbas, a man who's guilty of some heinous crimes. To my amazement, they wanted Barabbas. I could not believe my ears or eyes. I asked, What should I do then with Christ? their Messiah, they shouted out for him to be crucified. What has he done to deserve such a sentence? But the angry crowd would not be satisfied, satisfied. What is truth? Can you know it? Can you hold it in your hands? What is truth? I've been searching from my youth To know exactly what is true Dream. Barabbas 
Has placed his life in my hands. Fate has placed his life in my hands. I beg you to speak one word to help me. I have the power to free him or have him crucified. In his defense, he gave me no answer. It's as if that man wanted to die. Yes, he wanted to die. What is truth can you know it can you hold it in your hands what is truth I've been searching from my youth to know exactly what is true Someone tell me what is true. What is true? crucify him. I find no basis for the charges you have brought to me today. He has done nothing to deserve death. I wash my hands of it. Uh, we have a law. And according to that law, he must die. For he claimed to be the son of God. You got what you came for, but I am innocent of this man's blood. It's your responsibility now. Well, after interviewing Jesus and again talking to the Jews, Pilate knew that the Jews were out for blood, but he also knew that Jesus was innocent. So he asked the Jews, why don't I give you Barabbas? We know he's guilty. The Jews would have nothing to do with it. They wanted Jesus dead. Well, when Barabbas heard the news, uh, he must have been wondering, what has this man, this innocent man Jesus done that makes him the focus of such intense hatred? And he's actually gonna take a cross that was meant for me. It was the same cross, the same piece of wood upon which so many other tortured souls had uh, taken their final breaths. Father, you hear, hear me, Father? I, I'm thirst. I am so thirsty. The deed is done. Scripture complete. Mm -hmm. 
my bones, they stare at me. They pierce my hands and my feet. And now the lamb, the lamb has atoned. The price of sin is paid. A victory bittersweet. Father, I have fulfilled all the scripture plain. There flows from me a crimson stain. Now I pay the price with my blood and bone and I done it all by thy word alone thy word alone thy word alone thy word alone Father, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? It is finished. Into thy hands I commend my spirit. As evening approached, Joseph of Arimathea went to Pilate and asked if he could have the body of Jesus. Pilate was taken back. Crucifixion takes days to kill its victim. So he summoned a centurion and wanted to know, is Jesus gone? The centurion said, yes, he's gone. And Pilate was torn. He knows that an honorable death requires an honorable burial, but crucifixion is not an honorable death. It's designed to not only destroy the life of the victim, but to uh, destroy any honor that he might have. Feeling guilty though, Pilate uh, told Joseph of Arimathea, yes, you may take his body and bury it. The horror of the crucifixion was past and the disciples were stunned. They were speechless as they watched the body of their savior. They watched the body of Jesus being removed from that cross. And then Mary instinctively tried not to hurt her son as she wiped the blood from his face. When I heard that you'd been taken and arrested, I knew the time had come your purpose to fulfill. When I should have been rejoicing at God's mercy, by my choice I may have stopped it. Oh, my heart was full of grief and worry And it shone upon my tear-filled face As a mother I would want to protect you But I knew I could not take your place For you told what happened yet in my heart I sometimes wished it were not so now they've come to take you from me it's so hard to let you go
as I watched in horror as they beat you. I had to hide my eyes so that I could not see. With each stripe they laid upon you, my heart was broken. For I knew you took each one for me. It were not so Now they've come to take you from me It's so hard to let you go You gave I hold you in my arms and tremble Your lifeless body bruised, so beaten, blood-stained And I think of how God's love was poured out It were not so Now they've come to take you from me It's so hard to let you go It's so Joseph, with John's help, took great care as they prepared the body of our Lord for uh, burial. In accordance with Jewish tradition, they wrapped the body in clean linen, treated with myrrh and aloes. That which was from the beginning, that which we've heard, we've seen with our eyes, that which we've looked upon, our hands have handled of the word of life. than just a man was Jesus the Holy One Lamb of God the Father manifest unto us our Emmanuel the Son of God hands open silent ears and may the blind eyes to see these hands these hands so gentle full of mercy 
what grace has been bestowed upon me, upon me, to been touched by these hands. Close was I to the Master, by at His side. I lay my head on His breast, it was only that I was happy, contented, and my heart was at rest. These hands, these hands, forgave the vilest sinner, but condemned the Pharisee. So gentle, full of mercy, and what grace has been bestowed upon me, upon me, to have been touched by these hands. He came unto But the darkness comprehended it not. For all that I have seen and witnessed, have I the right to doubt a word that he said? And though he lie here pale and lifeless, still I believe that he could rise from the dead. The price he paid for me. These hands, these hands, so gentle, full of mercy, and what grace has been bestowed upon me, upon me, for I've been touched by the Near the place where Jesus had been crucified was a garden. And in that garden, Joseph of Arimathea had cut a family tomb. Others watched as Joseph and John tenderly laid the body of Jesus in that tomb. And the sun was finally setting. It had been such a long, torturous day. The Roman barracks were quiet. Dust filtered slowly through the cracks and the sound of water dripping into a cistern slowly marked the passing of seconds and minutes and hours. And off in the corner, 
sat a soldier alone. He was just staring silently into the darkness. slept from the very hour when they took his body down and there I looked upon my handiwork when they took from him his thorny The other soldiers say that I've gone mad What's happened to this heart of stone? I've crucified so many other men Why did this one affect me alone? But I nailed his hands and I heard him cry I gave him vinegar to drink And pierced his side And now I cling To these words few Forgive them for they know not what they do Surely this was the Son of God Who else in such pain Could show such compassion Surely this was The Son of God Surely this was Surely this was The Son of God All my life I worshipped gods of stone But they never said a word But this lonely man on Calvary Spoke the sweetest words I've ever heard But I nailed his hands And I heard him cry I gave him vinegar to drink And pierced his side And now I cling To these words few Forgive them for they know not what they do apply to me no sweeter words were ever spoken spoken by that man who died on Calvary spoken by a man so bruised and broken Thunder echoed as the wind went still The sun was blotted out by gross darkness The very light of man was put to death Even nature testified of this Surely this was the sun 
Surely this was the Son. Surely this was the Son of God. Peter regretted having asked his wife to come to Jerusalem that day and witness what he knew would just be glorious events. But things had gone wrong, things had gone terribly wrong. And Peter, that disciple of Jesus Christ, was now a traitor, he was a coward. All he really wanted to do was get back to the sea. All he really wanted to do was go fishing. Had his wife not insisted that he stay, he would have left Jerusalem that night. But now all he wanted to do was find a place to be alone, to think, to brood over the events of the day. Every one of Jesus' followers was looking inward. They were trying to find answers. They wanted to find something to make the pain go away. What are we gonna do now? Jesus is gone. <laughs> and Mary Magdalene, she found herself walking the street again. She had led this life before, but now, now things were different. Oh, how the sun seems to hide his face from my broken heart. Tears seem to flow from my eyes without measure. I'm so torn apart, torn apart. When no one loved me, he did. I wasn't worthy. But he cared for me when no one loved me. He did, he did, and he set me free. While this day passes by, the sun shines in the sky. Not for me. All of my life, I had dreamed of Messiah since I was just a lad the first time my eyes met the eyes of the master he saw the good not the bad not the bad when no one loved me he did I was unworthy but he cared for me when no one loved me he did he did and he set me free while this day passes by the sun shines in the sky, but not for me.
could see right through me. Deep inside my soul, how my heart leapt when he said I was forgiven. Why did he have to go? Have to go? Now there seems to be no reason to go on. Life is just so empty without him. I thought that he would lead us on to something new. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? Now what do I do? Then on that dreadful day, I denied him. He looked into my eyes. There was no trace of contempt in his countenance. But deep inside I died, and I cried. When no one loved me, he did. I was unworthy, but he cared for me. When, when no, no one, one loved, loved me, me, he, he did. did. He, he did. And he set me free. While this day passes by, But not for me. A thick, heavy darkness uh, covered the landscape, and there seemed to be a really strange silence there at the tomb. The soldiers rested their heads and leaned against their spears as they guarded that sealed entrance. Gradually, the darkness lifted, and the sun seemed to linger just below the horizon. Rubbing his bloodshot eyes, one soldier tipped his helmet back and realized he passed the night without sleep. The new day is about to begin. Without warning, the sound of stone grinding against stone caused his body to shake and his heart to pound wildly in his chest. Slowly, he turned around and a blinding light shot out from the tomb. The great stone continued to roll away and came to rest just as the dawn of the new world burst forth.
Thank you, Father. Thank you. The word was spoken. The word is truth. At its appointed time, it had to come to pass. The word is perfect. The word is love. Though all should pass away, the word will all outlast. The lamb was broken. The lamb was slain. But I prevailed, and now the sun has come again. Thank you, Father. <laughs> now I have conquered, and I have won. By faith I walked among the valley of the dead. I faced the tempter and took the keys, the keys of hell and of the grave and of death. And all my children I have redeemed, and they are free. For now I hold the title sisters gave us their report Still inside of my mind I doubted I longed to run into my Lord The one who I denied But when I came unto the tomb I only found is buried in it. Later when I saw his blessed face I knew I was And I have won By faith I walked among the valley of the dead I faced the tempter and took the keys Keys of hell and of grave and of death And all my children I have redeemed and they 